Well, this is a very, very interesting new area. Um, I think that uh, it is really very important to pay more attention to the person with the disease. Well, there are two ways to pay more attention. One is to use questionnaires to ask the person about uh, her or his state, condition, uh, uh, happiness, uh, depression, anxiety, uh, and all the other type of uh, disturbances that may characterize the disease. But a, a, more, a less invasive modality is to use wearable uh, devices on, in the body of the person so that these devices may tell us about what is happening to the person. They are particularly interesting for exploring, for example, mobility. Uh, with our apps of uh, smartphones, we are able today to measure a lot of uh, aspects of mobility, number of steps, for example. Uh, however, we have some devices that are even more you know, subtle in capturing this type of aspects, such as, for example, the modality of uh, steps. And we expect uh, to have a, a very important advance here. There is a, an ongoing, almost at the end, study that is mobilized. The, is European finance study in the area of the IHI. And uh, this study is uh, following uh, 600 patients for two years, just to see if what these devices are telling us is more uh, able to capture even subtle changes that we cannot pick up in our regular visit. You know, when you have a regular visit, the person already try to be in an artificial condition compared to the everyday. So they try, some of them try, they, they, they try to do the better they can. Some others, they are more uh, prone to perform less than usual. So we are convinced that if we examine the person in the real life, we might have a more, let's say, quite clear view of what happened to the person.